All right. I've got another Linux distribution for all of you multimedia enthusiasts out there. And this is something I haven't looked at in years. I decided to download the long-term release of Ubuntu Studio 20.04.4, I believe. And we're going to look at that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. <laughs> Before we begin, today is Good Friday, so I just want to say Happy Easter to all of you out there who celebrate. Now, in the comments section of my last video, someone said, Hey, Spat, that's a cool pendant you're wearing. May I ask what that symbol is? Well, Coinster, I'm glad you asked. This is a Franciscan towel. It has three knots on the cord, which represent poverty, chastity, and obedience. It also represents to me faith, hope, and love. This is a sign of my commitment to being the best person I can possibly be. I hope that answers your question, and you can find out more through a web search. You'll find great reading for Easter. With all of that out of the way, it's Ubuntu Studio time. And this is a fresh installation, and I love the nice minimal look it's a nice, clean user interface and a nice workstation for you to get your creative juices flowing. And uh, like I did in AV Linux, instead of uh, going into the menus to see what kind of software is loaded on here, I want to know what plugins this comes with. So let's go ahead and open up Home here and go straight for the jugular. Let's uh, look in slash user slash lib slash VST, see what kind of plugins we're getting in here. All right, looks like Carla's loaded on this. We've got LSP plugins and another assortment of other uh, VST shared object files. But the real meat and potatoes on this are in the LV2 plugins, and there are a lot of them loaded in here. And you can see tons and tons and tons of them so you can do pretty much anything with uh, audio with all of these really nice plugins thrown in here i didn't see any vst 3s but lv2 is the uh standard for uh, linux and it is my understanding the equivalent of a vst 3 so good stuff there ubuntu studio has a nice clean user interface here uh, if we look on our panel, quick access to your calendar, volume control, your power management, network, and notifications, which you can turn off if you don't like. Uh, I also like how this is laid out. I use uh, Zubuntu on my computer at work, and it has a similar layout to this as well. Uh, a nice clean menu system uh, is included with this. And the first thing that catches my eye is the Ubuntu Studio controls, where you're going to go in and manage your audio preferences, such as your system tweaks and your audio setup. And the nice thing about this is uh, Jack and Pulse Audio are already set up for you so that they coexist and work well together. So uh, all of your pulse bridging is taken care of, and it has a nice, easy user interface for setting everything up here. You can also manage your extra devices and your jack master settings. Very nice indeed. Okay, and then moving right along, I can see that we also have Carla in here. And, of course, many of you are probably going to need this for uh, managing uh, all of your plugins. For instance, some digital audio workstations will not allow you to use LADSPA plugins, and so Carla is a nice bridge for that. And additionally, it'll also allow you to be able to use Wine to bring Windows plugins into your digital audio workstation. I don't use Carla myself. I prefer using Yawbridge, and that works fine for me. But a lot of people rave about Carla. I see a lot on it. I just haven't had the need to use that myself. 
Let's see what we have in the settings manager. I always like to go for a dark theme, so it looks like there's a number of themes included in here. And, ah, that looks cool. I like the blackbird. There's bluebird. I like how that looks, too. Graybird dark. So, nice uh, assortment of uh, themes. Especially when you're working in front of the computer. I know there's that huge shift software, but I just prefer just going for a dark theme. And uh, that seems to work best for me. All right. Yeah, I like how that looks. Very nice. All right. Let's see what other applications they threw in here with this. Now, unlike um, unlike uh, AV Linux, this doesn't have quite as many applications, but it looks like everything was well thought out in terms of the choices that were made to uh, include all of this. Okay, so you have a Carla control, you have your QJack control already thrown in here, and I use QJack control myself. It's a nice, uh, it's a, it's nice for controlling. Some people will prefer uh, different options. I like what they are offering here. Okay, uh, you have several plugins thrown in here with the inclusion of Guitarix for all of you guitarists out there, and want to get your uh, jam on and Racker Racks thrown in here as well. Uh, the CAF plugins are also very nice. Unfortunately, I can't seem to get those to show a graphical user interface when using them in Reaper. Uh, but that's okay. They still work. Beautiful. Let's see what instruments they have thrown in here. All right. They've got a Zinad sub effects. You can use that with Ulsa and Jack. And uh, that's on my top 10 list for my favorite VST plugins for Linux. And that video will be coming up eventually, because uh, I want to show all of them off. You've got a number of synthesizers included in here, and a drum kit as well. Very nice. A number of MIDI utilities are thrown in here. A number of mixers as well. Okay, and it looks like their digital audio workstation of choice is Ardor. They also threw in LMMS, which is also a fairly decent uh, digital audio workstation, but I kind of wish that it would support uh, Linux. LV2 plugins, presently it does not. And uh, if you want to, you know, you have to use, I believe, Vestige in order to uh, get your uh, Windows plugins thrown in. It also has Hydrogen, which is an awesome uh, program for uh, doing your drums. Very, very nice. Ooh, and it looks like they've, they've uh, got a bunch of uh, graphic design programs as well thrown in here. Uh, I use Image Mag Magic all the time in the from the command line for uh, mass for you know uh, for uh, batch processing of images and converting them. Uh, a number of photography tools like Darktable is included in here. I use uh, Ristretto, very good. Blender, love Blender, especially the new 3.0 version. Not sure. I'm sure this is an earlier version. All right. Um, you get the GIMP, Inkscape, Krita, which I think is uh, Matthew Moore's favorite image editor, and a number other of other painting tools. So there's a little something for everyone in here, and a lot is included. Um, I do a lot with video production as well, and so, I mean, the cat's meow is in here. Uh, you can edit video with Blender, actually. All right, Kadian Live, well, that's my go-to program for doing all my video editing, OBS Studio. Hmm. Uh, that's awesome. You also get OpenShot, PTV. So you've got plenty of options for uh, doing your video editing. Okay, all the accessories that you could possibly need for a complete desktop system is thrown in here. Okay. Um, a few games are thrown in. So while you're waiting on that video to render, you can play uh, Mines or Sudoku. I love Mines. Okay. 
Yes. You get Firefox, Pigeon, Thunderbird, and Transmission for your BitTorrent needs. Okay, Parole Media Player, which is a nice lightweight player, my favorite, MPV. And you get uh, VLC. Of course, the LibreOffice suite is also thrown in, as well as uh, some document viewers, and uh, you can also manage your uh, ebooks with Calibre. All right. All of your system settings can be handled through here. And additional help uh, for Ubuntu Studio is thrown in here. Uh, let's uh, have some fun with the desktop and looks like they've got a nice assortment of customization options thrown in here too. Uh, oh yeah, love that desktop. Guess what? I'm going to have to uh, love that wallpaper. Guess what? I'm going to have to nick this and throw it on mine. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, very, very beautiful OS indeed. And really, uh, if you're coming over from the Windows side of things and you want a taste of what Linux has to offer, you can try uh, a multimedia distribution like this. Have a look at the different software until you're ready to just download a distribution and then install the applications that you know that you're going to use rather than have, you know, several to choose from. Or... You know, variety is the spice of life as well. Having several different options installed on the hard drive, you know, can also be a good thing. You know, this doesn't you you know, a full installation does not use an exorbitant amount of drive space. And with, you know, hard drives being as they are today, you know, this is still smaller than an average Windows installation. So lots of good stuff here. Um, let's uh, see how much memory uh, this is using presently. On a, um, it's not really using a whole lot here, so um, it's not. It's using uh, 578 megs of uh, RAM, so not a whole lot. So it seems nice and lightweight uh, for getting your everyday uh, music editing or video editing. So you have those extra resources free uh, for uh, anything you want to throw at this operating system. So. You know, and, and you can't go wrong. Just load this onto a flash drive, boot your computer with it, play with the applications that are in there, and see if this is something that, you know, you would enjoy using. Uh, I can say uh, I like what I see here, but being the Arch user that I am, you know, uh, after looking at a distribution like this, then, of course, I'm going to go with building my own setup and using just the applications that I need, nothing more nothing less, but this is definitely the starting point, especially if you are coming over from a different uh, operating system. The Linux world has a lot to offer uh, for anybody who wants to ditch proprietary systems. Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, I promised that in an upcoming episode, I'm going to be covering my favorite uh, plugins uh, for digital audio production in Linux, and I will eventually get that video completed. It's a lot of work because I want to show each of the plugins in use and that sort of thing. So it will be coming when I have some free time. Work's been keeping me very busy and that sort of thing. As a reminder, a little bit of love goes a very long way, so please be sure to take some of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Until next time, my friends, peace out.